Baby African Grey Parrot for Adoption, $500. Hey guys, welcome back to the African Grey Journal. Now, today we're going to be talking about the African Grey Scam. Now, this is something that a lot of us are already familiar with, and most of us know one or two people that have been affected by this scam. But if you haven't heard about it, I'll explain to you exactly how it works. So, the scammer typically puts up classified ads on many different websites and they'll be advertising African greys or any other parrots for a very cheap price. For example, you may be scrolling down Craigslist and you'll see baby African grey parrot for adoption, $500. Now, we all know an African grey these days costs between $5,000 and $7,000, so a $500 African grey sounds like a sweet deal. It sure sounds like that, but it never ends up coming true. As they say, uh, sounds too good to be true, it is. So when you go ahead and reach out to this individual and you say, hey, I'm, I'm interested in the African gray parrot that you have available, they'll basically give you the runaround. So first, they'll typically ask you for money. They'll say, okay, the African gray is 500, but I'll have to ship it to you. So we'll need you to pay a shipping fee of $300. And when you do the math, you say, okay, the bird is worth six or 7,000 and they're offering me the bird for 500. What's a $300 shipping fee? You go ahead and pay that $300 shipping fee and then for some reason, more fees begin to develop. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, we actually have a new fee. It's, a, uh, it's an importation fee and a vet check fee that we have to take care of. We're gonna need another $500. And then you go ahead and send them the 500 because eh, it's a $7,000 bird. I'm already in it 500. Why not add a few more just to get the bird home? And what typically ends up happening is they continue to bleed you dry coming up with more and more excuses as to why they can't ship the bird to you and why they need more money. And they'll send you pictures and videos to get you emotionally invested. They'll tell you about their personality, but it's simply a scam. And I'm gonna give you top red flags to look out for when you're looking to buy a parrot. Now, the first red flag is going to be price. And I touched on this. Why would someone give you a $7,000 bird for $500? I personally haven't seen a baby African Grey available for less than $4,000 anywhere in the USA. So if anyone is asking you to pay less than $4,000 for an African Grey, it's safe to say that that is extremely suspicious. And when I say suspicious, I mean it's probably a scam. So uh, you definitely want to take that as your first red flag. Now, the next red flag I want to talk about is when the person doesn't want to meet up. You'll say, oh, I see... Your ad location is in Florida. I'm also in Florida. Can I come, come and look at the birds? They'll say, oh no, um, no, I can only ship. I can't meet up. Uh, there's, they're gonna make a ton of excuses as to why you can't meet them in person. And you don't have to meet them on the property. You could say, hey, we could meet somewhere else. They're not going to do it. And one thing I do wanna point out when it comes to someone not wanting to meet. Now, I know a lot of parrot breeders and most parrot breeders aren't going to let you come to their home they're very likely going to meet you elsewhere off of the property in a public space just to make sure that uh, everyone is safe because I don't know if you guys know this, but there have been a lot of uh, parrot thefts going on. There have been quite a few breeders and, and parrot keepers that have had their birds stolen. And this is always a result of inviting people onto the property, having people come to your property to pick up their baby bird. You know, you don't want to judge everyone and you don't want to uh, point fingers, but uh, it can definitely be a risky situation to allow people onto your property to see your aviary and to see all of your birds because uh, there are instances where the person does come back for more and they're not buying. Uh, and um, another thing I would like to touch on is international shipping. So the person is going to say, okay, we have to ship the bird into your country. I'm not located into the U.S. So you just have to pay for shipping and I'll get the bird shipped to you. So just so you know, uh, the Wild Bird Conservation Act was passed in 1992, and this prohibits the importation of any birds outside of the U.S. So you can't ship birds from Australia, you can't ship birds from Africa, you can't ship birds from South America into the U.S. without a special permit that uh, regular bird keepers won't be able to obtain. I, I would assume that only, you know, zoological facilities and, and, and stuff like that would be able to obtain birds, but even in those cases, when it comes to parrots, very slim chance that anyone would be able to obtain the necessary documentation to get a bird into the country because that law was passed in 1992. So if someone says they're going to ship you a bird and they're located out of the country, 
especially for an African gray, it's very likely a scam. Now, another thing I really want to focus on is, yes, I told you about the African gray scam, right? But there's another element to that scam. These scammers are actually stating that they can sell parrot eggs. So um, I actually seen an ad a few months ago where someone was selling African gray eggs for $100 a piece. So just so you know, if you ever see ads for someone selling parrot eggs, I would say about 100% of the time, it's going to be a scam. Why? Because parrot eggs don't transport well. So they would say they'll ship you the eggs. And, and this is very common when you look at uh, the poultry industry. You can ship chicken eggs, you can ship quail eggs, you can ship turkey eggs, and they, they're, they do just fine. You get them, you put them in the incubator, and they do hatch. But when it comes to parrot eggs, the eggs are very sensitive. They're very, uh, very fragile. They don't do well with uh, unnecessary vibrations, and that can actually kill the embryo. So if someone says they're going to sell you a parrot egg, 100% scam. No one can sell parrot eggs. It doesn't work. And why would someone sell a parrot egg for $50 when you can let it hatch and hand feed it and it's several thousand? So it doesn't make sense economically. It just, it's, uh, it's just a game that they're playing. So you don't want to make sure you stay away from the egg sellers because I know many breeders and none of them would ever sell an egg. It just, it doesn't work. Now guys, this was a short one. Please like and subscribe. I'm looking forward to pushing forward and continuing to release content. But in the meantime, you guys have a great day. We'll talk soon.